Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that a security researcher used a tool called Windows Down Data to bypass and lower or downgrade versions of Windows 10 and 11, which basically at the end of the day makes unnoticeable downgrades leaving systems open to threat and attack, which is obviously not a good thing. Now, that video will be linked down below and in the end screen uh, if you'd like to get some more information. But just to let you know now that Microsoft has officially acknowledged this issue. And they have said, and I'm quoting, a security researcher informed Microsoft of an elevation of privilege vulnerability in Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2016, and higher base systems, including Azure virtual machines that support VBS. Now, Microsoft's take on this um, so-called vulnerability is, and they say, the vulnerability enables an attacker with administrative privileges on the target system to replace current Windows system files with outdated versions, as I mentioned in that previous video. They carry on to say, successful exploitation provides an attacker with the ability to reintroduce previously mitigated vulnerabilities, circumvent VBS security features, and exfiltrate data protected by VBS. Because as I mentioned uh, in that previous video, if you basically downgrade a system, then it gets rid of all the latest security updates and security patches, so it leaves your system open to threat and attack, because obviously downgrading means that those um, holes then um, are not patched, those security holes are not patched and then are open once again to threat and attack. So Microsoft mentions the way forward now is that they are developing a security update that will revoke outdated unpatched VBS system files to mitigate this vulnerability, but it is not yet available. They do mention though that due to the complexity of blocking such a large quantity of files, rigorous testing is required to avoid integration failures or regressions but basically the long and the short of that is that microsoft is aware of it they are developing a security update so a fix and a patch for this um so-called um downdated tool that can bypass and lower versions of the os is in the works so we didn't get it uh, this week for patch tuesday and because the updates rolled out late on th on tuesday in my region on the 13th as i posted so we didn't get um, that fix with patch tuesday so hopefully by next month um september's patch tuesday that fix will roll out with the patch tuesday uh, security updates but obviously um i'm keeping my ear to the ground on this one and if and when that becomes available or i get any more info um because this is quite a serious issue although for your average home user as I mentioned previously, um, this would entail somebody actually sitting down at your local device and then running the so-called Windows down data. So I think for your average home user, there's not too much to worry about. But if you do find yourself in a business or an enterprise, maybe a little bit more room for concern. But nonetheless, as I get info, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.